Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about basics of exception handling in PL SQL. Yeah, so let's start. So first of all, what is exception in PL SQL? Well, so exceptions are errors or warning in a PL SQL program. By using exceptions and exception handlers, we can make PL SQL program robust and capable of dealing with the errors during exception, right? PL SQL uh, implements error handling using exception and exception handlers. Exceptions are the runtime errors that a PL SQL program uh, may encounter. Exceptions and exception handlers are, are how the program respond to the runtime errors. Runtime errors include SQL errors such as unique constraint violation or procedural errors. Every Oracle error has an uh, basically error code or that is called error number but exception must be handled by the name right when an error occurs an exception is raised by oracle when this happens control is passed to the exception handler which is a separate section of the PL SQL program this separate this separates the error handling from the rest of the program which makes which makes the logic of the program easier to understand and also ensures that uh, all errors will trapped right so this is all about the exception handling uh, what is exception and uh, basically how uh, basically we uh, define exception in PL SQL program right now uh, when we talk about the types of exception uh, there are two types of exception in PL SQL first predefined exception and second uh, we have user defined exceptions so first of all let's talk about the predefined exception Predefined exceptions are the error condition that are defined by Oracle. Predefined exceptions cannot be changed. Predefined exceptions correspond to column SQL errors. Predefined exceptions are raised automatically whenever PL SQL program violates Oracle rule. Oracle has predefined several exceptions that correspond to the most common Oracle errors. Some of the predefined exceptions are, are shown in the next slide. So here you can see these are the uh, predefined exception some of the most important predefined exceptions here you can see in left column uh, uh, shows uh, exceptions right there are many kind of exception access into null case not found there are many more exceptions you can see and uh, middle of the column shows oracle error so that that's uh, basically code aura something aura hyphen some digits and uh, last column represents a uh, sql code value yeah so when we, we talk about the predefined errors are automatically raised when associated oracle error occurs so let's uh, let's look into through an example let's say i have here a sql developer and i'm going to i'm going to insert a record into emp table with employee id 7369 and employee already exists with this id right let let's see what happens and uh, here employee id is just a primary key so this column cannot accept or duplicate values right if i run this query then here you can see what happens uh, we got an error right and saying that aura 00001 that's the basically uh, code error code and saying that unique constraint violation and escort is the schema name and after dot whatever you see that's the uh, constraint name this is the primary key uh, on employee so that uh, violates this query and that's what the, uh, this error occurs so guys this is all about the predefined exception so guys that's all I wanted to discuss in this video tutorial next video tutorial we will learn what is a uh, pre uh, sorry a user defined exception and how we can create user defined exception so guys big thank you and see you there in the next video tutorial